find a new level of domestic production. Does that mean like where you would be supplying and demanding? How much are the United States going to supply? Um, at six. Okay, you go to four dollars to where the domestic supply line is. That's six. Okay, that's that all means by production is just yes, supply. domestic production. How much we're going to supply? Okay. All right, Marika. Could you calculate the domestic consumer surplus? Um, uh, I appreciate it, but uh, you get 25? Okay, so you go, right, you have the triangle where four goes to domestic demand, and so, you know, the height is five, the base is 10, five times 10 is 50, divided by two is 25. Do you need units? Huh? What do you mean? Like 25. What? 25. That's all they, they ask. Okay. Truthfully. Is, yeah. that, is that dollars that was coming? I mean. I'm not sure. I'm, so you need to say 25? Or should you say 25 million? Because it's a million. Well, the, the quantity is in millions, but the price is just a dollar. Yeah. I'll check. I'll check, okay? To see what they ask. But you're allowed to just say 25? I'm pretty sure that was it, but I want to check. Okay? Okay, so just a quick question. Why is it, um, I forgot why you go all the way across rather than just like stopping where, like... Okay, because at $4, where you stop, where it hits domestic supply, mm -hmm. that's how much the United States is supplying. However, oh, we're importing like the... Huh? It's under demand, though, right? Right, oh, but okay. we're importing the rest. Okay, yeah. Okay? All right. So, Steph, that being said, could you calculate the tariff revenue? Um, would it be 20? How much is the tariff? Two. Two dollars, right? Yeah. How much are we importing? <coughs> oh. Wait, I thought the tariff was four. It's, wait, we're in I'll get with you in a second. Wait, hold on, four? So it'll be 40? Holly. Wait. The tariff is what? It's two. And how much are we importing? We're importing four, so it'll be 40. No, four times two. Oh, eight? It's just eight. Oh, I don't know why I kept going for it. Okay. Can you eight I would write eight. Is it just that eight box? Dollars. Yeah. Yeah, it's the area of that box, right? Okay. Yeah. And again, units are kind of like we don't know. Just say eight. No, I mean, that is eight million. Because <coughs> where um, it's two dollars each and four million um, whatever. So that's eight million dollars. Okay. Yeah, or, you know, eight million. Okay, now, back to you, Bess. It says, the new domestic price, including tariffs, is four dollars. So the new price is four dollars. The old price was two. So the tariff is two dollars. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Michelle, did you get the dead weight loss? Um, eight. So it's four in each triangle, right? Yeah. So it's those two triangles. That's not confused. Would you write eight million because the pounds are in million? Same with deadweight loss, would you write that in million because that's in million? I think you can. Okay. Yes. But not dollars. Right. Sure. Okay. Now, what is the per unit tariff that maximizes the sum, the sum of domestic consumer surplus and producer surplus? Three dollars. Okay, you have three dollars. Anyone have anything else? If there's a tariff of, if the price is three dollars, which would mean a dollar tariff, right? No, I was saying like three dollars. Like if you have the world price of two, and then you put a three dollar tariff on that, so it would be five dollars. Oh, you could have dead weight loss. No. Oh yes, you will. Maybe. Yeah. At five. Any tariff is going to give you dead weight loss. But they're asking about. Uh, so they're asking you to maximize. Consumer and producer surplus, right? Yeah. Wait. How do we maximize producer and consumer surplus? Where is this would, you, would that be eliminating dead weight loss? So now, how are you going to eliminate dead weight loss? Zero. Zero tariff. What, 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 what yeah. you do? Wait, what's the last one? But like, if you do a three dollar tariff, don't you like go to the price at five dollars so that it's like basically at like market equilibrium? 
Like, I don't see where the deadweight will yeah, also be for Rocky. Oh, so you're saying bring it up? Like, yeah, yeah, I was saying like bring it up to five. five. Yeah, because I don't know where the deadweight loss would be in that case. But you lose that triangle. But then, like, that triangle wouldn't be there. Oh, but you know that because you're going to have, like, if you were at $2, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to have more consumer and producer surplus total. Right? Because foreign trade brings in a greater amount. Like, so at $2, domestic. at $2, producer surplus goes down, but look how big consumer surplus is. So if you want to have the biggest surplus, you'd be at $2. Wait, I'm so confused. I thought you said it was, you just said something about foreign, but it says domestic consumer surplus. No, no. But, I don't have the graph here, sorry. It's domestic consumer and producer surplus, but any time you bring in foreign trade, it increases the total surplus. Okay? I'll come, I'll sit down next to you and show you, like, graphically in a sec. You can jot that down, because we'll just go, go.